Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, today I'm back onto the Kenworth Body Project. I'm all set up to make the big cut. Stick around, let's see how it goes. So this may have been a little ambitious of me. We got rain coming here. I got half hour, 45 minutes tops. Uh, it's actually Tropical Storm Debbie. It's supposed to rain here for like two days straight. And I wanted to get this done before it starts raining. So if you watched the first part of this video, I was kind of laying everything out, kind of figuring out where I'm, how I'm going with this. Well, I have my cut marked. I've got my straight edges in there set up, clamped in, ready to go. So basically I'm cutting five feet off of here. So I'm going to go underneath, cut my two cross members. No, it won't fall down on me because it's still supported by these edges and the top. I got the loader underneath it to catch it when it does fall. So I'm going to cut the inside first, then I'm going to come up top, cut across the top, cut the two sides down. Hopefully she drops free, done. Will it go that easy? Definitely not. But I can't fool around here. It's starting to mist a little bit. I wanna get this done, so let's just jump right in and, and get to work. So the bottom is cut while I was under there. I poked a couple holes up with the plasma to give me a straight line because I'm running right across a cross member here is how I'm, I'm cutting along a cross member. So I got my marks there. So I'm gonna clamp this straight edge on, zip right across it, zip, zip. Simple as that, nothing to it. Let's see if it works that way.
we're on rain delay for a minute uh weather says it's just gonna be a couple minutes and then hopefully taper off so i got the plasma tucked under there to keep it dry i only have two cuts to make yet so i'm hoping to get this done i don't want to do it in the pouring down rain can't can't see out of my helmet so let's give it a couple minutes see what happens so i got a break in the rain and i went out there kept plasma cutting about 95 percent through it and it started pouring again i don't really want to get electrocuted plasma cut in the rain so i got it hanging on by a thread now i'm committed it's kind of tapered off it's i don't know it's drizzling misting it's back and forth but i'm gonna go out there with the angle grinder and nip what's left try to get it broken free i'll leave you guys in here where it's dry force at the end and yeah, that's pretty typical might have taken a little bit more cutting than I am gonna show you on camera here but she's done that's the junk piece either find something I can do with that or scrap it and this is what we're working with so when my steel comes next week I'll cut a nice piece to cap that off put some lights on the end so moving on next step in the project so I got her in the shop it's a little drier in here a little bit nicer working so I was just gonna pop these bunks off and 
cut that goofy thing off the top and kind of maybe show you the highlights here. But uh, take a teaching moment. So this one steak was just stuck in here. And I tried hitting it when it was standing upright. I couldn't get a good angle on it. So I popped the whole thing out, laid it over, and was whacking on it with a bar, and I just couldn't get it to move. I'm gonna show you guys something. Air hammer has quickly become one of my favorite tools. I was cranking on this thing, whacking, whacking, couldn't make it go. Check this out. just something about the power of vibration that works wonders on stuck parts so those things are awesome for suspension parts all kinds of different projects if you got something stuck that you can't break with a hammer try an air hammer on it probably loosen it up so anyway I'm gonna keep rolling along here getting this thing tidied up as much as I can for today So we got rid of that rack, cut some holes for some extra lights. Gotta have lots of lights. Basically, uh, I'm gonna stand still here till I get my steel next week. Dress this back end all up. Put in my new steak pockets. So, hang tight. I'll be back next week, we'll finish this up. Well, I'm back at it. Just a short two and a half weeks later. Yeah, it took me a while to get back to this project. Steel's been here a while. Um, I've just been busy uh, doing lumber work, snuck away on vacation for a couple days, but you guys didn't even know I was gone. But I'm back now. Got about an hour here at the end of the day to kind of work on this a little bit, so I figured I'd jump back on it. So I don't even really remember where we left off. Um, it's been so long, so many things since then. But I. I think I told you I have to fill in the back here. Well, I made this plate, cut it out with the plasma cutter, and uh, I primed the back side of it already. That's gonna get welded fast there. I'm just kind of waiting, because honestly, I had it sitting outside for the last hour or so, and it's like 100 degrees. You can't even touch the thing, it's super hot. So I'm letting that cool down. I kind of have it set up here that I can do it one man. Uh, I'm going to just drop it on these pieces I've clamped in. That'll hold it at the right height and clamp it up and, and weld it. Um, but I've been busy. I think in the last video I showed you that bandsaw. That's been working hard for me. Got uh, these stake pockets uh, set up. Uh, just got to weld them. It's heavy duty, super heavy duty stuff. That's no joke. It actually, what uh, what we came up with, uh, I sent it to the steel guy and he kind of looked at it and said, no, that's not channel, that's five inch square tubing. So that's actually what that comes from, a big old hunk of tube, that is heavy, half inch wall. So I cut it off and then had to split it to, uh, to get these stake pockets. So they'll be nice once they're done. So I'm gonna get all this stuff fabbed up and uh, weld it and weld it in place so I guess it's time for me to get back to work
I got that tacked in place, that's gonna look sharp. That's gonna finish that off nice. Uh, I think that's gonna end up getting the license plate mounted to that. Um, I gotta weld that solid. Basically everything from here on out is just welding. I, I showed you guys what I got going on here. Gonna match up the stake pockets, weld a couple of them in along the sides, finish this up. Mud flap brackets are going up underneath. Oh, let me show you that. I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm kind of amassing my goodies over here. The hardware to actually mount it to the frame. Got some brand new four inch straps to go on those winches. Even got me some KW mud flaps. So that'll be a nice touch on the back there. So I could let you guys watch me weld for, oh God knows how long this is gonna take me. It's a lot of welding here. That's because I want to fully weld that. If you want to watch welding, there's much better welders than me out there. So I gave you kind of the broad strokes here, what I got going on. Uh, you just gonna have to stick around. Uh, the next step of this is dress this baby up. Clean her off real good. Get some paint on her, make her shine like brand new and uh, get it on the truck. So just another step in the process, little by little, we keep chipping away at it, but it's, it's coming along nice. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.